In this video, we will look at different family terms in Hmong, and we'll focus on those who are older than us, elders, um, people that are, for example, parents, grandparents, uh, uncles, aunts, etc. First, let's just cover a couple of little points. Uh, for starters, family terms in Hmong are complicated, uh, in my opinion, much more so than in English. Uh, secondly, family terms are very important. Um, they are a part of a, the culture. They're a part of showing respect. Uh, many of them, these terms are being lost or forgotten with younger generations. Uh, but if you can learn them and use them, it goes a long way in showing, showing respect to family members. Uh, one thing you can do to try to learn these uh, family terms is to print out a, a chart like this and try to write the names of your relatives uh, in the appropriate places to help you get a concept of who is who, etc. Uh, that really helps. Sometimes a chart is not enough. So hopefully that can be useful. Now let's start looking at them. So we're going to start with your father's side. Uh, now, again, this is whether you're male or female, you'll use the same set of terms. Uh, so we're going to even, we know that uh, the father is called Z, or hopefully we know that the father is called Z. Um, now, as far as the father's uh, relatives, the father's brothers and sisters is really what I mean to say. Uh, the youngest brother of the father, you would call, so this is your father's youngest brother, uh, which would be your uncle, you would call Zin Zha. Zin Zha. Okay, and then his wife, you would call Nia Zha. Nia Zha. Right, so that's your uh, father's youngest brother's wife. And what about your father's youngest, uh, sorry, what about your father's sister? Whether she's older or younger, it doesn't matter. Uh, you would call your father's sister Pao, Pao. And you would call your father's sister's husband Yi Lao, Yi Lao. Okay, so that's your father's sister, your aunt is called Pao, and your uh, father's sister's husband, we would call Yi Lao. Now, what about your father's older brother? So, a brother that's older than him. Well, you would call that older brother Hla. Hla. So, that's your uncle who is older than your father. All right. What about his husband? Well, you would say Nia. Hla. Nia. Hla. In a lot of these cases, you'll notice that Nia is used along with the name of the husband. It's kind of like saying the wife of, uh, as strange or disrespectful as that may sound in English, uh, it is the appropriate term in Hmong. So in this case, the wife of law, uh, of law is Nia. Law. Well, look, let's look at your mother's side. On your mother's side, the rules are slightly different. So whether she has an older brother or a younger brother, irrelevant, you would use the same term for your uncle, uh, the brother of your mother, and that would be Da Lao. Da Lao. Da Lao. Okay. And your mother's brother's wife would be Nia. Da Lao. Nia. Da Lao. Well, your mother's sister, and that would be your aunt, we call her Dai. Dai. And her husband, we would call Yao Zi. Yao Zi. So your aunt, who is the sister of your mother, your paternal aunt, or sorry, your maternal aunt, uh, her husband, you would call Yao Zi. Okay, so let's look at grandparents. Now, grandparents on your father's side, that'd be your paternal grandparents, the grandfather. We would call Yo, Yo. Whereas the grandmother, we would call Ba, Ba. So again, paternal grandfather, paternal grandmother. Now, if we go to your mother's side, her parents, you would call your maternal grandfather or the uh, father of your mother Yo Zi, Yo Zi. And you would call his wife, your maternal grandmother, the mother of your mother, Nia Thai, Nia Thai. So let's talk about great grandparents. 
It doesn't matter which side they are, paternal or maternal, they're the same words you would use. Uh, so your great friend, grandfather, you would call Ya Gong, Ya Gong. A great grandmother would be Pa Gong, Pa Gong. And if you're ever so fortunate to have great great grandparents, you would call your great great grandfather Ya Shua, Ya Shua, and your great great grandmother. Ba shua, ba shua. So that wraps up this lesson for those uh, uh, of family members that are older than us, your parents, your parents' siblings, and your grandparents, great-grandparents, great-great-grandparents. Uh, just a reminder, some of the things you can do to remember, print out the chart, write the family names uh, in the appropriate places. You can use flashcards to memorize the terms, which is very helpful if you need to use them, which you should. Uh, you can leave questions or corrections in the comments. And remember, family terms are important. So that wraps up the lesson. I'll see you in the next video.